Here we have one of our laminated sides and we're a little curious as to what our weight is going to be. We are trying to build a minimum weight boat which would basically be a hull that weighed 46 pounds with the hardware attached. Our friend Bob Gray says the hardware itself weighs 7 pounds. So we're trying to build a hull that's 39 pounds. Here we have one of the sides. It seems to weigh in at about 9 pounds and this is probably the heaviest building component of the boat so we'll get some idea of where we're going to be I think we'll stack everything we've got so far on here and see where we're at this is our stack of components which are rough yet uh, not exactly the size but reasonably close everything we've created so far which is the sides of the boat probably the heaviest portions and our curved pieces, our bow and stern blocks, and our bulkheads for the mast step. And we are coming in at about 23 to 24 pounds with this stuff. So I think we're not doing too bad uh, relative to our overall weight, but I think we might want to cut up a few more pieces and see if we need to be vigilant about how much weight we're putting into this boat. Well, after taking a look at our, uh, our weight for our existing components we've already made, we're going to take a look at maybe cutting out, uh, rough cutting out the remaining uh, he next heaviest components, which would be the plywood pieces for the uh, bottom uh, and the deck of the boat. Uh, so now we're looking at our pieces of plywood, keeping in mind our scenario about uh, the strength of straight grain and the fact that the plywood surfaces of these boats actually comprise uh, a good portion of the strength of this monocoque structure. So we want to pick up pretty decent pieces. So what we're looking for is some nice straight, straight grain in our plywood on the top surface and on the bottom surface because those are the two surfaces in a piece of three ply plywood that are going to provide the maximum amount of strength and this portion at this edge is actually pretty nice it gets a little squirrely over on this edge of the plywood so I think we'll be using uh, using this side here on the left for our deck our other piece of plywood, which is going to comprise the longest piece, the nose piece on the bottom, uh, actually has some pretty good pieces on uh, on both sides. And then we've got a little chunk out of the bottom. So, so. As long as we stay away from the middle of this piece, this will be good for probably both the uh, the bow and the stern at the bottom and that will take care of the majority of it. The, uh, the cockpit floor obviously is another area of concern so we've got to be able to get basically the deck, the cockpit, and the aft deck as well as the bow and stern bottom pieces, uh, five pretty good sized pieces of plywood out of these two sheets. Well I'm curious as to how much this plywood uh, material that I'm going to use for the uh, decking and the uh, bottom of the boat and the cockpit sole is going to weigh. So I've laid them out uh, paying attention to the grain in the wood because I'm particular about the way this looks and also uh, our designer Bob says that uh, the deck takes quite a bit of loading so I've actually been careful to use a piece of wood here where the bottom, this is actually the back side of the piece of wood that I'm going to use, is uh, very straight grained and so is the the reverse side and that should produce a very strong piece of plywood. I'm going to paint it so nobody's going to see that part or the cockpit so all that's what this is. Rough cut and taken from measurements uh, off the, the drawing that we've got uh, laid out on the uh, strong back. The only part of the boat that you're actually going to see is going to be the bottom. And I have two quite irregular pieces of, uh, of plywood and since I'm kind of picky about it 
and sort of wanted the, the grain to line up, which took a little hunting around to find a piece that went with another piece. But I've got a set here that works reasonably well, so I'm going to saw these out and we'll find out how much they weigh. Once again, this wood, mahogany, is very much like the redwood and you have to be very careful about the direction that you approach sawing it or you're going to tear pieces of it out in the, uh, in the good piece you want to save for the bottom. So you have to be careful to continue to try to cut downhill with uh, your saber saw when you're chopping these pieces out. Well, I'm shooting this with the uh, camera in my phone and it's not really great for resolution. Here you can kind of see a great big sliver. It's a classic example of grain tear out. I am cutting downhill and fortunately enough the piece that's tearing out is uh, in my piece of scrap. When I approached this odd cut, however, I began cutting the other direction. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can see how ragged this cut looks, so you definitely do not want to cut uphill or you will be creating problems. Fortunately enough, I'm leaving myself a lot of extra room, so I think I'm okay on my pattern. Here you can see that I am using the uh, measurements that I took, which are quite generous, uh, for the back end of the boat to try to develop this curve and I am using a section of that uh, to help me uh, use uh, that pattern to provide myself with the material for the, the back deck behind the cockpit. It is admittedly large, uh, probably six inches too long, but at least this way I know that I'm getting uh, the full use out of my material and that my shape is reasonably right. It's going to throw my weights off a little bit, but uh, at least we'll be uh, safer than it. Sorry. Well, here is our stack of boat components. Uh, some parts are very close to their finished weights. Some parts are quite rough sawn and reasonably substantially oversized. So here we have all of our framing stacked underneath of this thing. There's the nose block, there's the tail block, and of course here's the scale. Where are we at? Well, where we're at is very close to our minimum rate right now. Uh, we are at about 38 pounds with this pile of stuff. We do not have a substantial quantity of material left to put in. Uh, we have framing for the back end of the boat, and uh, that will probably just about be a trade-off for the amount of material that we're going to cut off. Some of the uh, pieces uh, that we are using here as rough cuts are considerably large. The, uh, the uh, rear deck is based on the cockpit floor, which almost automatically makes it about six inches too long and virtually all these cuts are about an inch too big all the way around. The trade-off, of course, is when we cut it off, we're going to have to glue them on, so we'll probably put some of the weight back on. All in all, what this means is we're going to have to be very careful with our weight on the additional components we use on the boat from here on out because we are very close to our minimum weight right now.